When we discussed matrix transformations from Rn to Rm, we mentioned that if a transformation has these two properties, the homogeneity property and the additivity property, then that is called a linear transformation. So these are the properties that define a linear transformation. Now, in high school, you probably got in the habit of calling something like this, t of x equals mx plus b, which more commonly appears y equals mx plus b. You probably got used to calling that a linear function, the equation of a line. So it's interesting to ask, is a linear function a linear transformation on the real numbers? And of course, what makes it interesting to ask this is the answer, and that the answer is no. A linear equation does not describe a linear transformation on the reals. To see why this is, we simply look at the two properties, beginning with the homogeneity property. T of kx, by definition, is m times kx, plus b. But that's not equal to what would happen if we transformed x under this transformation and then multiplied it by k. So you can't just take the scalar out of the transformation without changing the result. Because if we transform the vector x, which in this case is just a real number, if we transform x first, what we get is mx plus b. And then if we multiply that after the fact, Clearly, that's not equal to what happens when we plug in kx. So a linear equation does not have the homogeneity property. So certainly, it's not a linear transformation. We can also check the additivity property. And we find that the additivity property is not satisfied either. t of x plus y equals m times that input x plus y plus b. But that's not equal to what happens if we transform x and y separately and add those. Because t of x is mx plus b, t of y is my plus b, and so their sum is m times x plus y plus 2b. And that's not equal to what we saw we were getting when we plugged x plus y in. So it does not satisfy the additivity property either. What we traditionally call a linear function satisfies neither the homogeneity property nor the additivity properties that define linear transformations. So if the transformation t is our typical equation of a line, is that a linear transformation on R? No, this is actually what we call an affine transformation. It is a linear transformation except for the fact that it has this shift. If we didn't have the plus b that's in this transformation, it would certainly be a linear transformation. The fact that it's a linear transformation plus what we would call a translation, that's what this plus b is, it's a translation up of b units, that's an affine transformation. It's a linear transformation plus this shift, this translation of plus b. So it's not a linear transformation, but it is something kind of related. We'll have lots more to say about linear transformations as we continue our study of linear algebra. And if you're looking for more, be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, I'm the mathematical menace, the machinations of mankind, two calculators at the same time, hand signs and abacus, finger count and calculus. I'm the V to the T, my parameter, the rapidest. Happens like this, my lectures, the most prominent, dominant. Call me the Morgan, I get the compliments. The union in together like any time that we intersect, cause my opponents know they need.